Hi everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at OM Workspace, which is an upgrade to what was formerly known as Olympus Workspace. Now it's basically the same thing, it's a photo editor for our Olympus cameras and now OM system cameras. Uh, but they've added a few features, but specifically I'm going to be looking at the AI noise reduction feature they added and see how it compares against my favorite uh, photo editing software, Photolab 5, with uh, the Deep Prime, which is an AI noise reduction feature, but also another popular noise reduction software called Topaz Denoise AI. So with that said, let's get started. Now, a couple of notes for the comparisons that I'll always have the uh, raw image on the left as well as the ISO we'll be shooting at, and the file name indicates which software I use to denoise the image. You may also notice some lens corrections uh, happening from one image to the next. That's because the Topaz Denoise AI does not apply the lens correction, whereas uh, OM Workspace does, as well as the uh, DxO Photolab 5 with Deep Prime, I did apply the optical correction. All right, now let's look at uh, ISO 3200. Go into the color chart. And uh, again, I think uh, Denoise AI did a good job. I might have to back the sharpening slider off a little bit because I am getting some sharpening artifacts, uh, but I'm sure those will go away with a little bit of uh, tweaking. Let's go over here to the shadowed area. And uh, yeah, very good job uh, retaining the detail here in the shadows. I can see actually the corner of the uh, box here. And yeah, the colors are very muted. This is actually much redder in real life. But the details here in the binding are a little bit smudged. Uh, but not bad overall. I'm sure a little tweaking, I could get a little bit more detail. Uh, here, we can see on the barrel, the ridges here on the focus ring are definitely smudged. But very good job overall cleaning up the uh, noise. And then, of course, here in the highlight area, uh, Denoise did a good job. Cleaned up the barrel, cleaned up the uh, inside the barrel very well. And it definitely did not over sharpen. Uh, it's just a little bit soft to my eye, but not bad. All right, here's DxO. And very good cleaning up the noise. Not as much sharpening artifacts. Let's go over here. And yeah, I think it did an excellent job here in the shadow area. Cleaned up all of the noise, but also retained some good detail here in the shadow area here, the binding. On the barrel here, yeah, I can definitely see the ridges here on the focus ring. Did a good job there and cleaned up the noise. And then over here on the highlights, yeah. Very good. It looks actually there, it looks a little bit over sharpened. Uh, so I may or may not would want to pull that back in, in, in the sliders, but uh, probably not. And yeah, good job here. Very good. And then finally, OM Workspace. Very good. Cleaned up the noise without over sharpening. I don't see any sharpening artifacts really. Over here, very good. Again, clean up the noise. A little bit of smudging here. It didn't really retain the detail quite as well. And let's look at the lens barrel. Not bad. It did smudge the, the rings here on the lens, lens ring, but uh, I can just make out a little bit there. And then here in the highlight area, yeah, good job cleaning up all, all the noise without over sharpening. This to me looks just about right in terms of sharpening and cleaning up the noise. And again, very good job. So uh, I would probably turn the sharpening uh, up a tiny bit, but it looks really good here. Almost perfect. Now, a couple of things I want to note before going any further, because I noticed this consistently throughout the ISO range. Uh, if we look at the bottom right here, this is the raw image. Top right is the DxO Deep Prime. Top left is Topaz Denoise. And bottom left here is the 
uh, OM workspace AI noise reduction, specifically the color reproduction. The DxO D prime seems to do the best job at reproducing the colors that we see here in the raw image. Topaz denoise, the colors are, are much more muted. Uh, specifically, it looks like it pulled back a lot of the reds or the magenta a little bit. And then uh, the OM workspace, the same thing. The colors are a little bit more muted or a little more suppressed. Again, uh, probably in the reds or magentas, uh, but not quite as much as Topaz denoise did. Uh, another thing is on the uh, OM workspace denoise AI, what I did was I did not check the uh, color noise reduction strength. I left that off. And there's also a checkbox for the dark area noise suppression. I did not check that box either because when I did, I noticed a big drop in the color. Uh, a lot of the color was very muted, particularly in the shadow area. So I, I thought I got better results in terms of color when I didn't check those two boxes. And again, now at ISO 6400, let's punch in here. Uh, Denoise AI did a good job cleaning up. Again, uh, I probably should turn the sharpening uh, down a little bit on the Denoise AI, but uh, it did do a good job cleaning up all of that noise over here and um, yeah cleaned up all of the noise very nicely uh, but it did lose more detail on the lens barrel here um, we are losing some detail here even in the raw image on the lens barrel and you can see that uh, denoise AI Definitely smoothed out all of the ridges here completely, uh, but it's almost gone anyway here at ISO 6400, so not too bad. Did a good job on the noise. And then here on the highlight area, very good. Cleaned up all of the noise. We can actually still read 37 millimeters here on the lens barrel. And inside the lens barrel, uh, very good job cleaning that up. And I don't really see too many sharpening artifacts. Uh, it looks pretty clean. Now with DxO. Uh, very good job cleaning up the noise. Still a tiny bit of grain showing. A little bit more, I think, than Denoise AI had. But uh, no sharpening artifacts really to speak of. Maybe a tiny bit in here and here because of the noise. Uh, excellent job here. Again, I can still see in the binding here some good detail. It's, it's smudged a little, but it's not bad. I think this did the best job. And of course, again, look at the color here. Very, very good, I think. This is pretty accurate to what color this uh, photo book is. And then on the lens barrel, um, it did bring back some of the ridges here in the focus ring, but again, on the original raw image, they're pretty much gone anyway, so it, it, it was able to recover some of that, though. Not bad. Then, of course, here on the highlight, uh, it looks like the perfect amount of noise reduction and uh, sharpening. And finally, with OM Workspace, I think it did an excellent job reducing the noise without over sharpening. Let's go to the corner here. Yep, very good reducing the noise. Uh, but it did, didn't retain quite as much detail in here. Uh, and, and also look at the color. The color, a lot of the red magenta is kind of gone. And we're just left with this brown. On the lens barrel, um, it tried to bring back some of the ridges here in the focus ring. Uh, so there's a little bit there, but again, it's, it is gone on the raw image anyway. And then on the highlight area, yeah, excellent job. Um, 
and inside very good i would say this is pretty on par with what dxo did save the uh the the color is a little bit more muted all right at 12,800. yeah a lot of noise here on the on the raw image and denoise ai did a good job cleaning all of that up a uh, tiny bit same artifacts these have carried over since i started so i definitely probably want to roll that back a little bit instead of leaving it on auto Over here, yeah, excellent job cleaning up the noise. But, uh, yeah, the details here are totally smudged. I mean, they're virtually gone anyway on the raw image. So I I don't think that uh, there was much hope of recovering that anyway. But we'll see. Let's go on to the lens barrel here, the focus ring. Yeah, all the details pretty much gone on the raw image. But it's been totally smudged and and uh, mushed out on the denoise ai even in here it's starting to to lose a lot of detail here and then finally on the olympus pen f very good job cleaning up the noise uh just a little bit mushy you can see the details are, are starting to really drop off. Like on the lens lens barrel. Yeah, but not bad. All right, let's look at DxO. Yep, very good job. Um, it didn't clean up the noise quite as much. There's still a little bit of grain here. And again, I was just using the auto settings. Uh, if I cranked it up a tiny bit, might uh, clean that up a little better. And looking over here, yeah, excellent job cleaning up the noise. And actually did a better job at bringing back some of the details here in the binding. And of course the colors I think are very, very good. And here on the lens barrel, yeah, again, the raw image, the, the noise destroyed the detail on the focus ring. And DxO didn't bring much of that back. It's pretty much smudged out. Same thing here on the back of the barrel, the zoom ring. And on the pen F, very good job here. Cleaned up all of this noise and retained a lot of the detail, I think. Um, yeah, this looks pretty good, considering we're at 12,800. Now at ISO 25,000, looking at the raw image, you can see there's a ton of noise now here. And Denoise AI did a good job, I think, cleaning this up. You know, it did mute a lot of the colors, but uh, it was able to bring back a lot of the detail, I think. Very clean. And over here, yeah, excellent job. Um, starting to get a little blotchiness here, though. And, of course, here it's a little blotchy. Not much detail left. And not bad. Almost no point to look at this lens barrel anymore. All of the details been washed out by the noise, even on the uh, fo uh, zoom ring, where you know the ridges are a little larger. Still a bit of color noise in here. I think a little tweaking in in the software would fix that. And then finally over here on the highlight areas, very good job cleaning it up. But you can see right in the corner here. There's still a little bit of color noise and, and a lot of blotchiness. But um, overall, excellent job. I mean, the, the 37 millimeter is totally gone. You can't read this at all. All right, looking at DxO. Again, I think DxO, the, it, the, the, the way it retains the colors is really good. 
And it did a great job cleaning up the noise here and retaining the detail. Um, over here, yeah, excellent job. Again, the colors, very good. And this is not quite as blotchy. It is getting blotchy, especially here, but I think it did the best job. And it did a really good job at retaining the detail, best it can based on what we started with. But when we look at the lens barrel, yeah, you can see uh, all of the uh, ridges and the focus ring are gone. Some of the uh, ridges on the zoom ring are there, but it's hard to tell the, the, the ridges versus blotchiness, right? But I'm not getting any of those blue color blotches like I was with the uh, topaz. And then over here on the pen F, yeah, excellent job. I think it did a better job cleaning up the, the noise here in the shadow on this corner. And then inside the lens ring, very good. And of course, this is totally gone. I mean, I can read it because I know it says 37 millimeters, but I think in a, if I'd never seen this before, I would, I would just be guessing. So OM Workspace with that AI noise reduction, I think did an excellent job. And if you have a compatible camera, you probably don't need to buy like the Pure Raw or Photolab 5 with Deep Prime or the Topaz Denoise AI. Now, similar to the results I got a few months ago when I did this kind of test, I think the DxO Deep Prime still did the best job, uh, retained the best color, the most detail, and reduced the noise. And of course, you can kind of tweak Topaz and DxO for, for sharpness and, and other things, noise suppression, but um, just by the default settings, I think DxO still did the best job. Now, I know in a video, sometimes it's kind of hard to see those details uh, because of compression and things that go on, but uh, I'll have links down below to my Flickr page where I've posted uh, virtually full res collages of all the images we saw today in this video. Uh, that way you can kind of pixel people and look at it for yourself in better detail. So I know this was kind of a long video, but I hope you enjoyed it. If so, consider subscribing to the channel. Hit the like button. Maybe you'd like to make a donation to support the channel. There'll be links down below. But either way, I appreciate you watching, and hopefully we'll see you again soon.